All right, in this video, we solve another example showing us uh, the method of integration called rationalizing substitution, otherwise called as algebraic substitution. So this is example number two. We are to evaluate the integral of dx over the cube root of x minus the square root of x. Now again, remember, it's called rationalizing substitution because what we're given is an irrational integral and we are going to transform it into a rational form. So this is useful when the integrand contains a fraction with more than one radical. So as we can see here, we have two roots in the denominator. We have cube root and the square root. So still, because we only have a single variable under the radical sign, so this belongs to case number one. This belongs to case one. That's nth root of x, wherein n is the LCD of the fractional exponents. Now our exponents here, our exponents, cube root means, when you say cube root of x, that's x to the power of one third. And if we have square root of x, that's x to the power of one half. Therefore, the LCD of the fractional exponents is, what's the LCD? Least common denominator of one third and one half is six. Therefore, n should be six. So we let u be equal to sixth root of x. If u is sixth root of x, that's x to the power of one over six, because we are going to transform or replace cube root of x with u, how do we make 6th root of x cube root of x? So we have to raise it to the power of 2. So raising the equation to the power of 2, u squared is equal to cube root of x and when we raise it to the power of 3, that would give us square root of x. To remove the radical sign, to remove the radical sign here, we raise this to the power of 6. So u to the power of 6 is equal to x, then we find the differential, dx equals 6u to the power of 5 du. Alright, so we ha now have something to replace dx. This is 6u to the power of 5 du. We now have something to replace cube root of x, which is u squared. And we now have something to replace square root of x, which is u cubed. So we now substitute to our given integrand. dx is 6u to the power of 5 du over cube root of x is u squared minus the square root of x is u cubed. And then we put the constant outside, so that's 6 integral of u to the power of 5 du over, we factor out u, we factor out u squared, so what's left is 1 minus u. We simplify the fraction, that's 6, integral of u cubed over 1 minus u du. Is that already integrable? The answer is no. So for this fraction, because it is still an improper fraction, we still have a degree in the numerator that is greater than that in the denominator, so we perform long division. So we divide u cubed. So remember that when you perform long division, you have to arrange the terms in the polynomial. You start with the highest degree. So we have negative u 
plus 1. So you always start with the term with a higher or with a greater exponent. So that's negative u plus 1. And then we divide first term divided by the first term. So u cubed divided by negative u is negative u squared. We multiply. That's u cubed. Negative u squared times negative u is positive u cubed. Negative u squared times positive 1 is negative u squared. We subtract, we cancel this. And then we have an imaginary 0 here minus negative u squared, which would give us positive u squared. And then we divide again. u squared divided by negative u is negative u. Multiply negative u times negative u is positive u squared. Negative u times positive 1 is negative u. We subtract again. We cancel this. There is an imaginary 0 here minus negative u giving us positive u. And then we divide again. Positive u divided by negative u. That's negative 1. Negative 1 times negative u is positive u. Negative u times positive 1 is negative u. That's negative 1. We subtract. So we have a 0 here minus negative 1 leaving us 1 as a remainder. So this is plus 1 over negative u plus 1. So we can now rewrite our integrand as 6 integral of negative u squared minus u minus 1 plus 1 over 1 minus u du. Okay? So we have, we, we can now integrate, that's 6 times negative u cubed over 3 minus u squared over 2 minus u. It's a plus here, but because it's a negative in the denominator, that's negative u, then this is minus ln of 1 minus u plus c. We distribute negative 6, that's negative 2u cubed minus 3u squared minus 6u minus 6 ln of 1 minus u plus c. Going back to the original variable x, u cubed is square root of x, so that's negative 2 square root of x minus 3 u squared is cube root of x minus 6 6 root of x minus 6 ln of 1 minus 6 root of x plus c so we solve more examples in the next videos